For liftoff, the ascent engine would push the Eagle into orbit. For this one maneuver, this engine would have to work. There was no alternative. We listened to the countdown from the moon. Our guidance recommendation uh, is pings, and you're cleared for takeoff. Roger, understand. We're number one on the runway. Fine. So they departed Tranquility Base, pushed toward orbit by the ascent engine, up and away from man's first firm extraterrestrial foothold across the harsh, fitted landscape of the moon. Then, following rendezvous procedures developed through Gemini and Apollo, Eagle drew nearer and nearer to Columbia. Collins watched the Eagle's climb, its flashing beacon of friendly signal. For hours he had kept his vigil. Now his companions were returning. Control thrusters firing, Eagle and Columbia moved together for docking, the last movement of their lunar duet. After the docking, the transfer of the crew and their precious samples of the moon to Columbia, the ascent stage of the Eagle was jettisoned. It was time for the final burn in lunar orbit, trans-Earth injection. TEI. Again, we waited. Waited for Apollo 11 to emerge from behind the moon. Coming home. Hello, Apollo 11, Houston. How did it go? Over. Time to open up the LRL doors, Charlie. Roger. We got you coming home. On the way home. Neil Armstrong, Mike Collins, and Buzz Aldrin. Then on July 24th, the crew of Apollo 11 witnessed a final sunset over Earth's horizon and prepared for entry. Uh, you're clear for landing. Roger, gear's down and locked. See you later. 